Hey everyone, Jack in action, back in action with a new video. Today, we're gonna do a bunch of transfers into different vehicles. First, I'm gonna go into my mom's Prius, my van, and my dad's truck, so. All right, so when I first learned how to transfer, the transfer board was crucial for transferring into vehicles because as you can see right here, there is a big gap. See how big this gap is right here? I need to be able to get my body into this seat. And at the beginning, I didn't have the skill to make that transfer. So I'm gonna show you what I did at the very beginning. I start by getting my legs down here. And then I'm gonna tuck this underneath my bottom. And now it's a bridge. You can see that my the board is on my chair and it's on this seat. So now I'm going to slide myself in. And now I'm in, but I'll get my legs in also. I lift them up. Good to go. I'm gonna now I'm going to do a transfer where I don't use this board and I have to tell you a funny story. So when I was when I was still using this transfer board, we accidentally left it up on the top of the vehicle. And as soon as we started driving, we heard this loud noise. And we thought, oh shoot, that was the transfer board. That was the last day I used my transfer board. So one way or another, you're gonna learn how to do it without it, or as long as you know how to do it the right way, it's important to have it. All right, so now this is how I do the transfer. And I'm gonna go back into the vehicle now. And then I'll come back out. But at first when I was learning to do these transfers too, it was like I was jumping across the Grand Canyon. Like this is a huge gap to swing your body from here to there. So yeah. Now I'm gonna transfer into my van and then I'll transfer into my dad's truck which is higher up. And to make it easy on myself, what I actually do is I use a van that has a ramp so I'm able to just wheel on in and I don't have to worry about doing the transfers and disassembling my chair. I also have a sports chair that I put in my van, but it's very doable to have a vehicle without a ramp and disassemble your chair and get into the vehicle. I just happen to have a van and I enjoy using it. This chair is convenient because it comes back and it can swivel all with the controls on the side of it. So I just go like that, get closer. I transfer onto the seat and then what I do is I just swivel it and it brings me to the driver's seat. And it's also good because I like getting out of my chair. Some people have vans where this chair isn't even in here, the seat, and they just have their chair right next to the wheel. I prefer having this because I have, it's a new surface for me to sit on. And if I don't wanna drive, someone from my family could drive because it has hand controls, but it also has regular controls as well. You can see right here, this is how I do the gas by pressing down, brakes in. But if you look below, you still have your gas pedal and your brakes. So anyone can drive this vehicle, super nice. But now we're gonna transfer into my dad's truck. 
A key factor into transferring too is making sure your brakes work well, especially if it's your first time or your beginning transferring. I know some people that go without them, but I find them to be very helpful. And then having the right amount of air in your tires so then your brakes do work. So that way you can rely on your chair and it's not gonna go flying or moving because if you have your hand on your chair and it moves, well, guess what? You're probably gonna move too and it's not gonna be fun. So yeah, make sure to use your brakes and do your transfers. All right, so this truck seat is higher up. It's right there. So how I do this is I actually keep my feet on my foot plate so I get as much height as possible. I grab onto this handle here, put my hand onto this cushion, and I lift up and bring my body that way into the seat, lift my legs up. Get into here like this, and then to get down, that's the easy part because you've got gravity. Put my legs there. Let my feet dangle, slowly get them to the floor. Maybe grab this. I'll go like that. And now I'm safely in my chair. But with this transfer, it wouldn't make any sense to use a transfer board unless you were going down and you had a really long transfer board. But some of these transfers you have to do without them. But yeah, so that was that transfer. Now, if anyone has a monster truck I could use, I'll try transferring into that. Thank you everyone for watching. Go out, have some fun adventures, transfer into different vehicles, and see the world. Bye.